Hello, this is a tutorial going over how to set up a single post blog template um, from scratch, a pretty simple one. Um, a lot of these um, blog templates have really nice scrolling features and sidebars, but that is for another tutorial. Um, so my last video was about how to set up the post list here, um, which needs to be set as post list here as well. And now we are going to do the single post, which is going to be selected as the single post WordPress template. Um, as you can see, I have already kind of started to build this out. This is going to be um, the featured image. So I've selected it as a featured image here. This is going to be the title um, of the blog post again. So basically the way I have set this specific canvas up is the title is at the bottom and this canvas is set to grow with content. So if the title of this post is longer than this space allows, it will continue um, to display, make sure your overflow is set to display, um, and it will push the other canvas down without going on top of it. Um, so it's super important to do this um, with your, um, title canvas and then also as you'll see i'll do the same thing for the um, content of the blog post as well so i've created another canvas down here i'm going to name this content um, i have a couple of little things just simple things added in here um, you can add in categories i'll show you some of the different options there's post top category, which is going to pull the top category in WordPress that you have categorized um, your posts as, or you can list them all out as well. Um, keep in mind that however large you make this um, text box is about what it is going to fill. Otherwise, you are going to want to crop these so it doesn't overflow. Um, onto the rest of the content. Um, you can always make additional space to kind of um, prevent that. Um, it also kind of sometimes just takes some adjusting after you have connected your blog, um, which we will also do at the end of this video. So I have uh, a room, I have room here to show the author of the blog post, which is nice if you have multiple writers on your blog. Um, that is just post author. Um, there are other things that you can do. Um, there is um, tags that you can put up. You can add a search bar. Um, there are category title as well that you can add in. Um, some of these other things we'll talk about a little bit later, but those are the majority of the things that you would use. So now I'm going to show you how to add your post content in. And this I'm just going to put in as a big text block. I'm just going to pull. Let me just pull this really quick. Okay, I've just pulled um, a paragraph of warm up some text. So I'm basically going to create um, a text box. I'm gonna line it up with the size of this uh, um, image up here just so it looks nice. And then I'm just gonna copy and, or I'm just gonna paste this placeholder text in. Obviously you can align things the way that you want. Just keep in mind the way you have it aligned in here is the way the content is going to show um, on your blog. So I'm not a fan of justifying, so I'm just gonna make it left. Um, also keep in mind that anything you add in WordPress photo-wise and link-wise and stuff like that is also going to show up in here. So I'm going to move this up. I'm going to bring this up. And now I'm going to make sure that this is going to also be a grow with content so that this canvas will continue to grow uh, even when your blog post is quite lengthy. Um, these are the same things that you would do over on mobile as well. Just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not doing that but you would need to change the canvas types on mobile 
to grow with content as well for the very same reason that we do it on desktop. Okay, I'm going to add another blank canvas now. Pull this up. And now what I'm going to do is just add little links. Actually, I can actually just come over and copy and paste and we'll just change the text and the property so people can filter through here as well. So instead of older posts and newer posts, you have the option of next single post and previous single post. So I'm basically just going to put next post and previous post and then change those. So they can go through each individual blog post if they would like. This is going to be next single post. Um, this can be on a static content um, WordPress canvas. Um, it does not have to be um, in post loop. So that is about as basic as it gets for a blog single post template. Um, if you're ever just looking to throw something up quickly, um, that's kind of the basics of how those work. Um, the other thing that you can add is a comment section, which would be an additional um, canvas here that we will add. Actually, I'm gonna name this pagination, and this is going to be comments. So the comments is going to be another um, text property. So just here, we're going to add comment, post comments, comments. And these are going to list all of your comments out. Um, this is basically going to pull in the comments from WordPress. So um, comments will show up right here. And I'm going to make this set to the left here. I'm just going to pull this up. And this is going to need to be grow with content as well. So it can grow um, as you get more comments. Um, another thing you can do is add a link that shows how many comments there are. Um, I'll make that a different size here. I'm actually just going to make this a little smaller. Um, so it could be, say, be the first to comment. This is just placeholder text right now. And it will um, populate as the number of comments because we are going to set it to this comment link. All right, the next thing we are going to add, this down a little bit, is the comments form. So I'm going to add another blank canvas, name this comments form. I'm gonna copy just this same formatting because I would just want it to be the same. And we're going to make this a little bit of a box just to make some more room for it. And instead of having it be post comments, it's going to be comment form. And this needs to be set as grow with content as well. We'll move this up a little bit. And now these will show up as your comment areas um, for your blog posts. 